Gazelle Advice House, Eli Grosch, Rose Trilling, Benjamin Ball. I have to finish this first. If they find you, they will kill you. Compared to this, my life means nothing. Not to me. Machine is shaking. Max. Yes, Papa? If something should happen to me, I want you to use this to restore our people. Yes, Papa. I love you, David. Max, get in the secret place. Hurry. If only this is important. There's no more time. Protect Max and finish this. David. Nothing matters more than this. facing other immortals in combat to the death. The winner takes his enemy's head, and with it, his power. I am a watcher, part of a secret society of men and women who observe and record, but never interfere. We know the truth about immortals. In the end, there can be only one. May it be Duncan MacLeod, the Highlander. Turn, George. Mm -hmm. Please, Duncan, there's no need to stay the obvious. Everything okay? What? No, I'm fine. I just don't like being retired. One minute you're changing your grandson's diapers, the next thing you know, he's managing your bank. Ah. But I'll tell you, that kid could find a penny at the bottom of the ocean. Tell me, Duncan. Do you think it's only good deeds that define a man's soul? Why do you ask, George? Uh, Something troubling you? Just too much time on my hands. Finally, catching up on my reading, you know, great tragedies of good men and temptation, Dickens, Goethe, Vicky Spillane. This will make three, George. Oh, ah, enough, enough. Have pity on this poor old man. Yeah. Well, just this once. Uh, yeah, but it's not just this once. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
There you go, George. Thanks. Yeah. Did we have money on this? Hmm, let me think. Hmm, possibly. How much? <laughs> Are you sure I name a figure? No, 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 no. I'll name a figure. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. There you go, George. Right. We'll need those next week. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh oh. How's uh, <clears throat> Grant doing? I just hope he meets a nice girl one day. I could do with some grandchildren. Stay out of trouble, George. What sort of trouble can a man of my age get into? <laughs> We talk to the boy. He has to know about this. That money is ours. We must have it back. Whatever it takes. We never forget. Max, when the war is over, you know what to do with this list, right? Yes, Papa. told me it was a bomb. I'm sorry. Why should anyone do this? I don't know. Did George have any enemies? Did he receive any threats lately? Threats? Enemies? No. You sure? Everybody loved the guy. Not everybody. I have to ask you some questions. Yeah, just a moment. The police want to talk to me. Will you be okay? Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll be okay. Right after they get the bastard that did this. Excuse huh? me, ma'am, monsieur. That's a neat trick. Here's another one. I got a six hour P226 nine millimeter right behind your seat. Average muzzle velocity roughly 2,000 feet per second now. I can only really guess where your spinal cord is, so it's gonna take a few shots before you become paralyzed for life. But hey, what's a couple of kidneys between friends? Never a cop around when you need one, is there? Look, look what do you want? I want to finish what I started with your grandfather. I don't have time for riddles. I'm talking about the money. Look, I've got a couple of hundred in my wallet. And... Sixty million dollars. <laughs> you know, let me just bring you up to speed here. I've had a really bad day today. A little moody, cranky, you know? It could be PMS. Or it could be because you're pissing me off so much I won't be able to control myself. Let's, let's work something out. That's better. What, what do you want me to do? <laughs> Go over those bank records of yours and look for the name David Lehner. And we'll talk. My number. And don't worry. Because I've already got yours.
You still haven't given me the answer. I gave you the answer, Cameron. Just not the one you want to hear. Marry me. I can't. That's not nearly good enough. It has to be. Tell me you don't love me. Go on. I'll never ask you again. There are things you need to know about me. I know everything I need to know. Do you? Do you know how old I am? What difference does that make? My earliest memories are of my tribe, the Carveti. We lived in Cumbria. My father was a warrior, and my mother a priestess. What are you talking about? My life. It was a good life, until the Romans came. The rest of the world wasn't enough for them. They had to have Cumbria. And for every one we killed, five more came. It's a lovely story. It's not a story. And you think I'm actually supposed to believe that? I love you. You are my heart. You are my soul. And what I am telling you is true. I am immortal. Alexis! Gerard? Explain yourself! Leave him alone! Your time has come! Back away from Give her! Give me the sword, Cameron. You're dead, man! God! Run away from me now, you bastard. Oh, please, I beg you! You beg me? <laughs> You've destroyed the best part of my life. All of his goodness and all of his light. Gone! The only man I've loved in a hundred years! And you beg me for life? No, please, I beg you! Beg all you want. You don't deserve to live. Mercy! Please, mercy! Mercy, my ass.
Interesting style. Chasing an unarmed opponent on horseback and then taking his head. Was he a friend of yours? No. Then we have no quarrel, unless you choose to make one. Some other time. Some other time. Responsible for this? It's none of your business. Wrong. This time it is my business. This time it was a friend of mine. Then we have a problem, haven't we? I'm Duncan McLeod of the Clan McLeod. Alex Raven. See you around, Duncan McLeod. Yes, you will. Duncan, what gives? Uh, I have a few questions. Uh, a little pressed for time right now. Well, a couple of minutes should do it. Mm. Going somewhere? Out of town, a couple of days. The bank, the press, you know how it is? Yeah, yeah. You going alone? Alone? Sure, why? 
I just thought maybe she was going with you. Who? The girl I saw getting out of your car today. A girl? My car? Tall, beautiful, long hair. Kind of hard to miss. Doesn't compute. Hmm. Black Dame, right? Right car, wrong people. Friends don't usually lie to me. Pull up a minute, Duncan. You asked, I told. You don't like it. Too bad. Where is she? She's getting a little old. Keep going. Go on. Out of here. What do you do? Now. What do you do? Move away from there. The clouds are like a bad penny. I said move away. I'm in a bit of a hurry here, so why don't you just fetch us something cool to drink? Very cute. Maybe I should let you arm that bomb, too. It's already armed. I'm trying to disarm it. Right. <clears throat> the yellow wire. Maybe you've got a bridge for sale. Have it your way. told you. Well, now maybe you'll be a good girl and tell me what the rest of it. Move it or lose it. Not until you talk to me. I've got nothing left to say. <laughs> That's the best that you can do. We'll see. Maybe I'll take some lessons sometime. You're gonna need them. You were saying? Say goodnight, McLeod. Damn. The truth, Grant. Your guess is as good as mine. And you have no idea what she wants. Well, no. You're running out of excuses. And you're running out of time. Are you crazy? It's disarmed. I'm trying to save your life. That bitch, she killed my grandfather and she said she'd kill me too. Go on. A couple of years ago, my grandfather got the bank into leveraged bonds. That's a pretty risky investment for a conservative man like George. Tell me about it. He wanted to retire big time. The bottom line is they tanked. The bank was going under. We needed money, as in cash. Truckloads of it. Along come these businessmen, offer to bail us out. We don't ask any questions. Businessmen? International traders, according to them. Russian mafia, according to everybody else. And they were the ones that threatened George. Not if he cooperated, but he couldn't keep it up. One day he pulled the plug. He'd had enough. So why didn't you go to the police? Scandal. The last thing George wanted was a run on the bank. Everything he worked for would be gone overnight. And what's stopping you now? I don't know. How's fear? End of story. My bank, my problem, I'll handle it. You can't handle it. No police? No, no police. Can you contact this woman? I have a telephone number, that's all. Then call her. It's time to set up a meeting. OK.
to stop meeting like this. And you gotta stop trying to blow up my friends. I don't suppose you'd believe me if I'd say I had nothing to do with it. Not at the moment. One more time. You think I followed you? What are you doing here? She had a sword in her hand. She was gonna kill you. I could have handled it and you didn't have to shoot her. You're welcome. What the hell was she doing with a sword anyway? Let's get you out of here. my grandfather and she said she'd kill me and she was about to nail you and now she's dead now what is your problem look if she's part of the russian mafia maybe they'll send someone else great how long do i have to stay cooped up here i'll let you know uh, duncan yeah all, all this um our little secret right the whole world thinks my grandfather was a hero I'll try and keep it that way. At least you didn't kill me while I was dead. For the record, I had nothing to do with you getting shot. Now who's got the bridge for sale? You're not gonna kill Grant. Kill him? You're worried about me killing him? First of all, that son of a bitch just shot me. And secondly, I'm trying to keep him alive. Why? I'll let Max tell you. Duncan McLeod, Max Lehner. I think it's time you two should meet. You didn't kill anybody. And he doesn't speak Russian. And why are you interested in Grant and the bank? Because they stole $60 million. It's true, Mr. McLeod. Come again. Blood money. The Nazis killed David, Max's father, and they left me for dead. He knows about us. Yeah, he knows. other people. You're an angel. No, no, I'm not an angel. Yes, you are. Max, listen to me. Like the one who came to Abraham, to wrestle Jacob. Papa said you'd come to protect us. I just had to believe. Now I believe. 
And if David said it, it's true. I'll protect you. But you gotta keep a secret, okay? I can keep a secret. I know you can. You know, you've got your father's eyes. Strong ones. Good ones. You're gonna be an important man. And he's gonna be so proud of you. And I can protect you. I'd like that. Alex? Yeah? I won't tell. He's kept it a secret for all of these years. Not many survived the Warsaw Ghetto. I had to. What style? Not what. Who? Gisela Weisshaus, Eli Groch, Rose Trilling, Benjamin Wall, Alex Berman, Bert Linder. I know them all by heart. People had their money in foreign bank accounts before their families were rounded up and taken to the camps. And you think George Thomas's bank was one of them? They have millions of dollars stolen from our dead and they deny it. That's where Grant comes in. He's just like his grandfather, tries to bury me under paperwork, doesn't realize he's dealing with a human shredder. Yes, but there must be some way to trace the money, some proof, some records. Well, there's a safe somewhere in Grant's house. That's what I was looking for before. I found the bomb. And you just yes, yeah, 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 I remember. I remember. But I've known George and Grant for years. Mr. McLeod, I am an old man. Many things I have seen. Some things I still cannot speak of. I have looked into the face of darkness. Do you know what that face looks like? It looks like you. It looks like Alex. It looks like me. Hey, where are you going? To find out why Grant lied to me. Go oh, home, Max. Wait for me there. Glad. Glad you finally trust me. Who says I trust you? Why are you doing this? Because I love Max's father. Because it needs to be done. Is that all? It's enough. Sure you got the right room? I've got the right room. Grant! You got the right room, huh? Go! Now we can match the deposit records to the account numbers on Max's list. Yeah, and then they get the $60 million. What are you doing with that? You want to open this thing or send it into orbit? Well, you got any better ideas? Let's hear it. Yeah. 
You got a nail for him? What? Watch and learn. This I've got to see. Shush. Where'd you learn how to do that? Friend. It's empty. It's empty? I could have told you that. I told you, McLeod, what do you expect from a guy who shoots a woman in the back? But you don't listen, do you? Would you be quiet at least for 10 seconds? What the hell does it take to kill you guys? Why don't you come and find out? Tell me, Grant, why'd you kill your grandfather? Conscience. <laughs> Conscience? Not mine, his. The old man was only getting older. Didn't want to meet St. Peter with pockets full of stolen money. He was going to give it back? Yeah. She actually convinced him it was the right thing to do. So you blew him up? Duncan, I'm a banker. I don't do bombs. They do bombs. And they were the ones that planted one in here. Had to throw suspicion off me. Shame you disarmed it. So there is no Russian mafia? Sure there is. Somewhere. Time to go for a little swim. You know, this is completely and utterly your fault. Excuse me? I was the one who's been right all wrong. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you think that's right. Who said pull the yellow wire? I did. <laughs> No one. Grant thinks we're dead. There's only one person that can link him to the money. Killing me will change nothing, you fool. There are hundreds more will come when I'm gone. All those souls, those voices. Do you have enough bullets for all of them? No. Just enough for you. do now, Grant. Search the whole house. Without those letters, all is lost. They must be somewhere here. Are you sure you didn't mention anything to McLeod? Nothing that would do us any good. Tell me, Duncan. Do you think it's only good deeds that define a man's soul? Finally catching up on my reading. You know, great tragedies of good men and temptation. Dickens, Goethe, Goethe. Good men and temptation. What are you talking about? The story of a good man tempted. Great tragedies of men and temptation. That's what George said. Or a good doctor. Tempted by the devil. Fast.
Don't tease an old man. See, like Grosher was thrilling Benjamin Wall. Oh my God! All the names and secret numbers—they match. What is it? Looks like a confession. From George Thomas. All the names and dates. The whole money trail. Looks like you'll be able to trace everything, all the money, Max. For years I hated myself for being alive. Why was I spared? Why did I survive when so many better people perished? Now I know. All those left behind. All those poor souls finally laid to rest. All those souls. Maybe one more. What are you thinking? Just thinking about George. He was a good man. He was kind. He was generous. Now history is going to remember him a different way. I wonder what it was like being him, knowing what he had known for all those years, building his whole life on other people's graves. How can one survive with all that guilt? The same way we do. What do you mean? How many people have died because of us? It's different. Is it? Can you justify every person you've ever fought and everyone you've ever killed? If I've killed unnecessarily, I didn't know so at the time. Mm. We rewrite our history all the time because we have to. We rationalize our cruelty, so we can look in the mirror and face ourselves. Perhaps that's what George did. Maybe that's how he became the man I know. And who was that? A man who donated a small fortune to building libraries and schools and hospitals. He made a difference in many people's lives, you know. What he did was out of guilt, not compassion. And if he was a noble creature, he would have returned the money years ago. Maybe he couldn't face it. Maybe he couldn't face where it came from. Till you made him. His own grandson killed him because of that. What goes around comes around. <laughs> Your friend from Warsaw would have been very proud. David. It was fifty years ago. A heartbeat for you and me. I hope he's watching this from somewhere. That day we met in the forest, the man you beheaded. He killed someone, someone I loved very much. Sorry. I thought you said you hadn't played this before. Beginner's luck. Oh. You hungry? I've made other plans. <laughs> Some other time. Some other time. Some other time. Oh. 